So greetings and salutations. It's your friendly neighborhood, Doug, here. And we have a very special gift for you. I, as you know, coach and run events and trainings and so forth. And like you, I'm always on the quest. And I have a very special guest, my spiritual advisor, the Tommy Lama. And I just figured I have some... Not everyone has the opportunity to get in your presence, especially one-on-one. -on -one. So I just thought maybe if you would like to share your philosophy on spreading the love, as it were, and, and how we can uh, continue to make a difference, how you can support me in making a bigger difference in people's lives. Well, Doug, as you recall how I met you many years ago, I found you laying in the street, right? Remember? Okay. Disheveled, crumpled. What did I do? I bent down and I picked up the change laying next to you. And it, it, it startled me. It, it brought me back, sense reality. And you woke and you awoke. And that's when they gave you my drink, which was an herbal restored remedy of vodka and oxycontin. And what happened? You achieved a spiritual epiphany, or as the ambulance driver said, a near-death experience. <sighs> that's, you're not just whistling Dixie. Was, now, I know you've gone to Tony Robbins, okay, whatever. But you know what, you know, and you, you, you're into that uh, coal walking thing, walking on the coals, you know, but there's no foresight with that. What about the people that can't walk, Doug? Huh? What about the people bound in wheelchairs? You ever think of that? You, don't, you haven't, haven't you? That's why what I do, I'm an equal opportunity healer. I set fire to their feet. Win, win. I was not I had not thought of that. So wait a minute. Are you suggesting then? Huh. This is Hold on. Hold on. I have one of your tools. Let me get present. Nice. Nice. Yes. I have it. When you get on my level, you'll use three bars in a row. Yeah, you have three bars and then on the highest level, you get 5 to 8. But you're not there yet. You're okay. not there okay. yet, though. We're working now, on it. Now, like I said, I found you on the street. Uh, this is what I do. Um, you know, a lot of gurus, uh, they like to break you down and then build you back up, right? What I like to – and people accuse me that I kick people while they're down. That's not true. I don't start kicking until they start to get up. And then I curb stomp them. The brilliance. Because – what does this do? It's to stop having you use trust in other people as a crutch. It is a crutch, isn't it? Right. We got to stop this nonsense. And what else do I do, do Doug? Um, you know, you got the gurus. They make you meditate. I give you mild hallucinogens, hallucinogens so you can write down your thoughts. And then you can realize after you read it how stupid you really are. It's bringing me back, bringing me back. I get it. All right. So this is like an inner child journey kind of thing without actually doing it. And as you recall, when I first met you, you were shy. You were afraid to approach people. So what did I, what was the exercise that I had you in the class do? I had to approach strangers and mug them at knife point. And what did this do? This helped you use your words to persuade others not to be sexually assaulted while you were in the holding cell. You've Miyagi'd me in ways I can't even describe. I'm I'm touched, moved, inspired in in ways that are uncomfortable to expose. And and and, and, and the big exercise, if you recall, I like to expose my students to the elements. I had, as you remember, the stretching the exercise. The stretching, and after you stretch, I had everyone go into the frozen river, right, and then take Theraflu to realize why you're taking the Theraflu, as you're skinny dipping in the frozen river, how much you really want to live. And this, this drive to live tells you, get the hell out of the water, you idiot, and put on a freaking jacket. How bad do you want it, exercise? Yeah, yeah. So this is just a taste, a flavor of what's going on. 
at my, at, you've seen you've seen my sem my time is limited i know i it's just why the gift i'm giving is to let everyone know that you know while i'm blessed to have you one-on-one -on -one, sometimes people have to travel miles and miles and miles in order to get to you and only one-on-one -on -one time is limited so one of the reasons why I reached out to you as well is for that further inspiration, because I have an event coming up. You have an event coming up, I believe, this evening and will be going on for quite some time where you'll be able to imbuse your your gurosity onto your disciples who are fortunate enough to be in your presence. And when would that be? Tonight starts my debut at the Stratosphere in the L.A. Comedy Club. Tonight, 10 p.m. I'm dark Wednesdays and Thursdays, and you're pretty dark all the time. If I'm fair, it's it's it's, it's well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'll you're, say that. I, I like the dark side. Yes, it's uh, it's it's through it's through the lack of light that we can find ourselves. That's right. At the end of the top, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got to feel around. And <laughs> right. That's how you discover yourself. That's right. You Right. It's when we rob each other of light that we <laughs> truly can see. Now, with that said, yeah, the Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm dark. The show starts tonight, and it's going to go on to ad infinitum until I say stop. The gift that that is is, is beyond. I, I'm On behalf of the universe and everyone who is, who's lucky enough to, to be in your presence, thank you. Uh, I don't know where I'd be without you. And feel free uh, to contact me as you need if you need guidances that you and your – I call my followers disciples or minions, or, and I always recruit flock. Uh, so I don't know what you refer to your, your, uh, your, uh, your, your uh, followers, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. I, what I'm saying is this. I'm here. I'm available. If there's some issues that your followers – uh, need me to espouse on I'm there for you and help them turn their mistakes into bigger ones what's well, go big or go home I yes. get it yeah so any last advice for me I have my event coming up this uh this Saturday on December 10th any uh, last advice for me as I prepare to uh, have a huge impact like you don't show up Huh. That's, my, that's my best advice for you. Okay. I've seen your seminar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you can see here, the curiosity of us working so profoundly with uh, people is through love, through appreciation and mutual respect. And by the way, I wasn't laughing. Uh, I was laughing at you. It's a difference. <laughs> and, and your honesty is only exceeded by your true lack of um, light where you have found your darkness. Always find your darkness. That's the, that's the mantra I want you to use for your session this Saturday. Find your darkness. Okay. No lights. No lights. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, the Tommy Lama. Namaste. Am, namaste. Till we, meet, till we meet again. Till we meet again. And I am. Uh, I will allow your darkness to light me up even more this Saturday and tonight. May your lights be super bright as you're going to, of course, create extraordinary things with your extraordinary disciples. So with that being said, namaste. Om Shanti Om. Bless you.